In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix issues when users have problems with multi-factor authenticator. So let's say a user tried to log on to his device or to his mobile device and the user is having issues with multi-factor authentication like receiving an error message or not receiving um, a code on his mobile device to um, actually authenticate using MFA, which is the multi-factor authenticator. So what you need to do if you have you as an IT service desk engineer, you need to go to Azure Active Directory if you have the access and then we need to go to users and then all users. So in all users here, we can actually now select the specific user who is having that issue and then click on that user account. And if you look at manage, here you can see we have authentication method. So click on authentication method. And in authentication method, you can see we have different options we can actually um, set. For example, we have reset password. Well, the user does not have issue with his password. The user still remember his password. But sometimes if the user is having issue with his password, it's going to also display that the combination of the password and the user's name is not correct. So now we don't have, we don't have two options here. We can actually require re-registered multi-factor authentication. So when you click on this, what happens is the following. You can see it says operation completed. It's going to actually reset the user MFA. And when the user try to log on the next time, the user will be requested to set up a new multi-factor authentication method using a mobile device or a work email address. Or um, maybe, for example, the help desk email address. Or, for example, if we decide to actually revoke the multi-factor um, authentication session, what happens is the following. This week is going to clear the user's remembered multi-factor session. And now, the next time the user tries to log on, it's going to actually require the user to set a new MFA, which is actually, which has been declared by the policy on that device. This is going to actually re require the user to um, apply or configure a new multi-factor authentication or immediately but the revoke multi-factor authentication session will actually reset the multi-factor session on that device is going to actually clear all the users remember the multi-factor session but we require them to perform a new mfa um, which has been set up according to the policy on that device so that is how you um, fix issues when you are trying to log on using multi-factor authentication.